Roy G. Biv Umbrellas. Hello, this is Roy. As always, you're going to write your name and your teacher's name on the back of your paper. Flip it over. Imagine there's a circle here. Now, we're going to draw a horizontal line. A little bit over a half above your page. Now you're going to draw a vertical line. We are building our umbrella. You will now draw a diagonal line. And another diagonal line. Great line work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. Nice job. Next, we're going to connect the lines that we just drew to make the edges or the sides of our umbrella. I'm erasing all my little extra lines. Now we're going to build our umbrella using the Roy G. Biv colors. So my first color is red. My next color is orange. Now yellow. These are all warm colors. Now we're going to add green. Green is a cool color. Then we're adding blue. I didn't have a traditional colored blue, so your blue might look a little bit different than mine, and that's perfectly fine. I made a bluish purple after that because I didn't have a traditional color uh, blue. So you're welcome to mix blue and red to make a bluish purple. Then I made a violet color, which is a fancy word for white blue. And last but not least, I added a sort of indigo looking color, um, but you're welcome to uh, use a pink color here if you'd like as well. I'm now painting a second coat of paint right on top of my first coat just to make my umbrella look really nice and finished and, and so that I have beautiful craftsmanship. You're going to put this on the drying rack and then next time we see each other we will build the raincoat, legs, and shoes. Now your clothes and your shoes and your socks can look any way that you'd like them to. I made kind of a traditionally colored raincoat. Uh, as you see I used some wiggly lines to make my puddle and then I painted all of that in with acrylic paint. And again, your coat and your shoes and your legs, your raincoat, all that stuff can look any way you'd like. You're going to personalize it. We're going to use watercolors to paint our puddle to make it look nice and watery. And then we're going to make lots of little dots all over our paper with our watercolors. It's raining! Now we'll put it on the drying rack and let it dry. And our very last step is that we are going to outline all of our um, painting with a dark colored Sharpie. And this makes it look really nice and finished, like a professional. Nice job.